It is time now for Morning Rounds with CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook and Dr. Mark Pochapin. He is the head of gastroenterology at NYU Langone Medical Center. First up, more evidence that what is good for the heart is also good for the brain. A new study examines the link between exercise and cognitive decline in older adults. Here's what they uncovered. We found that people who exercised uh, moderately or heavily um, had a reduced risk of memory loss and uh, what we call executive function, uh, equivalent to about 10 years of aging. So one more study reminding us to exercise. Can you imagine slowing down aging of the brain by 10 years? Who doesn't want that, especially as a country we're facing this epidemic of dementia that we're going to see as people get older and older. But people are afraid not just of dementia, but of kind of losing it, being less sharp. So exercise, what a great way to stay sharp. Simple solution. All right, next up, March is National Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. Each year, about 140,000 Americans are diagnosed with the disease. It's the second leading cause of cancer cancer deaths in the U.S., but it is highly preventable with proper screening. Mark, when should people start getting screened for this? So generally, people who are healthy with no symptoms should start at age 50. However, if they have symptoms, that would be more diagnostic and they should see a physician. There's a family history of colon cancer or uterine cancer or polyps. They should talk to their doctor about getting early screening. I imagine you hear a lot of patients who just say I'm nervous. I'm scared oh, yeah. to have this done. Of course, and it's also against the American psyche of getting screened because we go to a doctor usually when we have a symptom. This is the time to go when you're well. And the best thing you can do is get it before it even starts as a polyp. Remove that and don't allow it the chance of turning into cancer. Are there alternatives to colonoscopies that, that actually have the same effectiveness? Nothing has the exact effectiveness. The reason colonoscopy is so powerful is that it finds a polyp, a precancerous growth, and you can remove that polyp before it turns cancerous. However, there's a virtual colonoscopy that people have heard of, which is an x-ray exam of the colon. It requires the same bowel prep, and if a polyp is found on the virtual exam, then you would require a regular colonoscopy to remove. And there's things as simple as stool tests that find early cancer. It may not prevent the cancer, but can find early cancer. There's really no excuse not to at least get the stool test done. It's so simple and easy to do. We, we hear so much about screening and testing, but do you, in your practice, advise patients? Is there anything they can do to try and prevent this specific type of cancer? Absolutely. What's good for the colon is good for the body, good for the heart. Exercise, as we heard, is only good for the brain. It helps prevent colorectal cancer. It keeps you healthy. Mm -hmm. Keeping yourself a healthy uh, weight with the exercise, watching your diet, trying to minimize red meat, at least in uh, not in excess, uh, avoiding tobacco. Smoking is bad for every component of the body. And generally living a healthy, well life will actually improve your risk of getting colon cancer. Prevention is so important, right? Because you know what the most common symptom is for somebody who has early colon cancer or a polyp that could develop into cancer? Yeah. I'm feeling perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And as Mark was saying, it, it's amazing because when you, we're both gastroenterologists. It's, I still get excited. The day I don't get excited, I, I'll probably want to hang up my colonoscope, right? Because you go in there, you see a polyp. It is benign. Yeah. And you take it out. You can lasso it and take it out. And now, instead of that person going on and perhaps getting cancer, they don't get cancer. Right. It is an amazing, don't yeah, you feel well, that we, way still? We see each other and when we find a larger polyp, we feel like um, we may have saved someone's life. Yeah. And I tell people it's their lucky day. Yeah. This is not a bad thing, this is a wonderful thing. Even if you diagnose early cancer, it's one of the most curable of the cancers that we know of by removing, curing it. Yeah, more than 90% cure rate. Exactly, right. so it's and, one and, of the most preventable and one of the most curable. And once you, once you have a colonoscopy, how, how often should you have it after that? Yeah, truthfully, if it's normal and there's no increased risk, it's once every 10 years. Now, if there's a polyp found, it can be a follow-up of one, three, or five years, depending on the polyp. Mm -hmm. But truthfully, it's once a decade for a healthy individual. And we can't forget to talk about the prep, at least briefly, right? People say, I can't do that prep. It's so much. It's, it used to be four liters. Now it's half that, right? You can right. do a split prep. Exactly. But at the end of the day, it beats chemo. Yeah. I have to say, you gentlemen certainly did sell it. People are going to be getting it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right. Oh, skip it. Finally, it's a question many have pondered. What keeps us healthy and happy as we go through life? A long-running Harvard study might, may provide an answer. It's a study of adult development that has examined the lives of more than 700 men since it started back in 1938. You know, we talked earlier about how doing exercise can help prevent dementia. Well, relationships, staying in touch with people, having a community of people, that can also help keep you sharp. Why is it so, so effective? 
It's the secret, honestly, of good health. And we see it all the time as physicians. When a couple comes in and they're able to connect that they're more than the sum of their parts, but a team, they are able to get themselves through the good times and the bad. And communities and friends and family. We don't know. You know, not everything can be measured and be so scientific and under the microscope. For some reason, we know throughout evolution, throughout the history of the world, relationships have been so important. Support. And what else about relationships? Well, if you really have a good relationship <laughs> and you want to save someone's life, have them get screened for cold. <laughs> we got to bring it back. All right, we planned that. Nice plug in. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you could save their life. Thank you so much for being with us this morning.